Hi everyone. So in this case I'm being asked to evaluate this logarithmic expression without the use of a calculator. Um, now in this case here there are, there are actually a few different things that I could do uh, to make this work here. What I would be tempted to do immediately uh, to avoid making some fairly predictable mistakes here is notice that I've got two different powers of 4 here. Okay. What I should do here and remember that when you've got a logarithm there, you've got brackets around the, uh, what's in the argument. I would simplify the argument first. Okay. So I'm seeing here, this is 16, so this is a power of 4. Okay. So this is going to be 4 squared times 4 to the 1 third. And then inside the, the log base 3, this is 3 to the 1 times, now we've got to be careful about this, 27 is 3, 3 cubed to the one half though, so this is going to be three to the three halves cubed with a square root. And so now, this is log base four of, well I've got a power of four here, I just got to add the exponents. When I multiply two powers, I, I add the exponents. So two plus a third. Okay, well two would be six thirds plus a third is seven thirds. So this is going to be log base four of four to the seven thirds plus log base 3, this is 1 plus 3 halves. Okay, well 1 with the common denominator, 1 is 2 halves, plus 3 halves is 3 to the 5 halves. And then we keep going back to this one rule, log base a of a to the n is equal to n. So log base 4 of 4 to the 7 thirds is 7 thirds. Log base 3 of 3 to the 5 halves is 5 halves. Now, our common denominator here is going to be 6, and so this is going to be 14 plus 15, or 29 sixths. That's our answer.